Hey, how's it going? As always, Nate Mumford, Director of Sales Engineering. Time for another RCS Live. How's it going? Hopefully you're good and everything's great in your world. Today we're talking about Acquira. That's our traffic software. And talking about products and how to customize your products to give you greater control in your traffic software. So as always, I do have my chat open here on, let's say, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter Live. Any questions for me, uh, let me know. Uh, also, don't forget, uh, this might be one of the last shows for a little bit because we are headed to NAB. That's right. Yeah, next week I'm flying over to Vegas. Uh, I'll be there hanging out. So I don't know if we're going to do an RCS Live next week. We'll definitely try to squeeze something in. when We're at the booth for NAB uh, the week of the uh, 15th. If you're going to be there, uh, where they're going to be hanging out. So definitely stop on by and say hi to us. We're really looking forward to that show. So it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun as always. And uh, love to see if you're going to be there, stop by, reach out to myself, your whoever person RCS contact is and say, hey, I'm going to be there. You know, we'll maybe a schedule time or something like that. And we can talk about whatever you want to talk about. And we have some really cool stuff to show, including some very interesting new pieces of software. That's all I'm going to say about that because the big reveal is going to be at NAB just so you know. So looking forward to seeing you there. Of course, as always, don't forget, we have our archive always online for rcsworks.com slash rcs dash live. And uh, that's all the videos are there. All the blogs and write-ups are there for you as well. So we'll look at past videos. That's in there as well. Uh, let's see, Spotlight, Studio Spotlight. Don't forget email marketing at rcsworks.com for that. And uh, don't forget to check your backups, all that good stuff. Remember, check your backups. Always looking for beta users as well. You can see that I'm on a choir of five, sorry, 321. <laughs> Too many ones and threes. I'm on a choir of three, 23, one. That is my build on here too. So you want to get your hands the latest and greatest RCS products, uh, definitely check that out. Uh, reach out to your local RCS contact. We'll put you in touch. Don't worry. Let's keep it simple for you too. So, uh, all right. So here's my uh, my acquire system. Today we're talking about products, right? And the idea with products is that we want to go, we want to essentially, you know, isolate different types of products. That's what I have right here. I'm going to first start over in the contracts. Remember, products start with the client. The client has default. That default can apply to your individual proposal or your contract. And there is essentially overrides every step along the way. So you can see this is my uh, generic uh, contract that I have. You can see I, I have a product here. So this is a school daycare for this particular one. So what are products? Products are really kind of what you want them to be. Obviously, there's some basic ones like department stores. Um, there's the alcohol, beer. There's toys, hobbies, sporting goods, shoes. It's really how you isolate this and how you want to both position it as a spotlight, as a contract, as an advertiser, or how you want to organize it inside you know, the acquirer system, which we'll talk about separation in just one second. So typically, I'm from the mindset of you really want to customize your acquirer, acquirer setup. The idea here is that if I want to add a discrepancy between the two of these products, you could and you should. The only gotcha there is going to be don't get too, too granular. Like uh, I think it was the example was was department store, shoes, department short, stores, clothing, stuff like that. You know, you save those for the other areas inside of Acquira. But you definitely want to have some, you know, differences between, you know, car dealerships, maybe domestic or international or whatever you want it to be. So, you know, I highly encourage you to do and add multiple products at the same time. Don't get too granular because you'll get yourself into a little bit of a, especially when you do separation in products, right? Um, you'll get a little too specific, if you will. So again, just to summarize what products are, if they're any type of, you know, literally product that you're putting into your system. Have more of them, customize them, isolate them. And then what you have here is from the, you know, from the beginning process of the client, that's your default product. From there, you have your contractor proposal. And then one unique thing you can do here is in the spot lines as well. If I create a brand new spot line here, you can see there's even some overrides at the specific uh, spot line level if you wanted to, right? That's pretty cool. So where do we add these products? What's going on? So for that, we're going to jump to the setup. 
And we're going to go to the products. I know, very, very complicated, right? Where do I create a new product? Set up products. Don't forget about your quick navigation down below on the bottom. I have this pre-opened already. That's my products tab right there. I know it's a little small in the font size. I apologize. There's a short name. There's a long name. And the key thing here is, is it current, right? Current means that we're going to display this as an active product. If you have something that's retired, right? Um, <laughs> this is a weird example, but it works. Uh, vinyl, right? Cassette tapes. Cassette tapes might have been, let's say, a product that was, you know, uh, old and you might have taken it and made it, you know, no longer current and it's coming back. So you bring it back and you put it back into the current status if you want to do that. But this is really relatively straightforward. These are really just values in Acquira. So I can hit a brand new one here and you can see I can give it a short name, give it a long name, and if it's current, right? I won't say anything for right now. So I'm not going to save my changes. And you can see, like, for example, here's fast food, right? So there's short name, full name. Is it current? Yes. That's pretty much the, the very complicated part of this, right? We just define a short name, a long name, and that's part of the product that's used in the fields that associate with products. So what can we do with products as well? Well, then we can go to something like the setup in stations over here. And you can see the stations has three sub tabs, station, station group, station networks. We're working with the station. We pick our station here in the detail. And you can see there's a separation right here. And what are we separating? We're separating products in this particular example. So the idea here is that we don't want to play a car dealership next to a car dealership, a department store next to a department store, right? The idea that we have a spot block, we want to separate these as best we can. So what we can do here is we can add a brand new product, right? Or I say product separation. I can click on this drop down right here and you can see what's what we trying to look at here. We can always expand this window here, make it nice and big. So let's say a department store, right? We don't want a department store playing next to a department store. And then what's the separation? Uh, for me personally, I like back to back. So I'll do zeros and do a zero there. And I can save this. And that separation is now in play. Um, don't forget from the traffic perspective, you know, there are times we're oversold and we only have maybe, you know, uh, a lot of times it happens to car dealerships, but you might only have department stores advertising. And you can't get away with that product separation. Don't forget, inside Acquira, we do have the overrides inside of the log and the schedules. So what you can do there is essentially say, you know, plot all my spot lines. And then from there, hey, I have all of these unscheduled spots. I might enable one of those separation overrides so that I can maximize my inventory uh, with a department store playing next to a department store, right? Some on those lines. So there is ways that you can actually go and define an initial separation and override it after the fact if you wanted to do that. Make sense? So the idea here is I want to kind of show you a quick video about how we can go isolate products, but also encourage you to design products, create new products. And the only thing there is just don't be too specific or too granular because that will you know, cause some confusion in regards to things like the product separation, right? Because if you say like department store US versus department store international, all of a sudden, what dictates international department store and US department store, right? That's a little too specific. But if we have, you know, department store, department store, you know, uh, uh, toy store, toy store, stuff like that, those things you get inside the products, right? Um, and that's a really great way that you can do that. And so again, just to summarize here, we talk about products. Where are products featured? If you have, let's say, at the contract level, you can do it at the client level as your overall default. That then, if you create a brand new proposal, that will take the client's default product unless you want to override it. We can then go here to the overall contract itself. And yep, uh, that's good and save my changes. I'll delete that spot line for right now. And go back to my general here. You'll see we'll take from that contract, the proposal, that client. We'll take the default product right here. There's a drop down for you to choose all of the short names and long names of that product. We can go jump then to the spot line. And we can actually do a individual spot line override for that particular product if you want to do that as well, right? And so, of course, if you want to create a separation, then we go to the setup, go to the stations. I have it queued up over here, but your quick navigation at the very bottom. So stations, I pick my station, go to the detail, go to the separation tab, pick your product, pick your product, hit the separation, and boom, we're all good to go. 
If you ever want to create a brand new product, then I can do that by just going to the setup and products, which I have right here. Create a brand new product, give it a short name, a long name, and is it current or not current? Save your work and you're good to go. There you go. Hey, listen, I'll see you at NAB next week. If not, I will catch you uh, as we kind of do a quick RCS Live somewhere in the mix. Don't forget, as always, check out our past archive over at rcsworks.com slash rcs-live. And I'll see you next Thursday, 11 a.m. for another RCS Live.